Grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And I'm Father Steve Summers. And somewhere over here is Dot. And she's circling around me this morning. Here you go. Here she is. Come on, you want to get up here? You can tell from your puppy sometimes whether it's a Monday morning or not. There you go. Good girl. This is our brief daily message of hope, and this is Monday morning as we plow our way into uh, the month of November. Uh, tomorrow is Election Day in the United States, and we're praying, like everyone is, for uh, uh, just God's will to be made known in the world and that we come to know Him. I've been, excuse me, reading over the last few days about the different ideas about what you should do first thing in the morning. Uh, you know, we get in habits sometimes when we wake up and we don't really pay attention to what we're doing. And, and sometimes our body systems are messed up a little bit, like when we change the time from daylight savings time to ending it. Uh, and I think that's going away permanently after this latest change on Saturday night at 2 a.m., uh, but whatever, we get out of rhythm sometimes right off the bat. And most of the little studies I've looked at recommend keeping to a, a certain pattern every morning and uh, try to keep your body going in the right direction. And some people have trouble waking up. Some people play the snooze alarm game. That's really not good to do at all. It uh, gives you at most maybe five to ten minutes of extra sleep. And that sleep is not high quality sleep. It's very low quality and it it actually makes you uh, more drowsy than it does waking you up. Some people start with coffee. Some people start with checking emails. Uh, I, I just recommend something a little different. I recommend that when you first wake up in the morning, uh, you open your eyes and realize that you've been given a new day. Now, we don't give days to ourselves. God gives us new days. And when we give the, get the gift of a new day from Him, First thing is to give him thanks. Thank you, Lord, for, for watching over me during the night and giving me a new day today. Uh, and, and then have a thankful heart and a grateful heart, first thing in the morning. Uh, and notice the things around you that are gifts from God. Uh, actually, everything that we have is, is a gift from the Lord. We don't bring anything into this world with us and what we attain or what comes to us during our lifetimes is through God's provision for us. And uh, we do accumulate a lot of things in life that are really not necessary. They're excess things. Someone once told me that everything we have is either a tool for accomplishing uh, good purposes or for serving the Lord, or it's an idol that we worship. And I don't quite agree with that. But uh, at any rate, it's good to be thankful and grateful in the morning. I have music that goes through my mind a lot. Uh, growing up in a household that was filled with music, it stays with me. And uh, one that uh, has come to my mind this morning is an old German hymn, probably 300 years old, maybe older. The words were written in German. Uh, uh, the hymn that it's sung to is uh, Laudis Domini that comes from the, uh, the middle years of the 19th century, Joseph Barclay. Wrote, and it's called When Morning Gilds the Sky. And uh, the first verse is When Morning Gilds the Sky, my heart awaking cries. May Jesus Christ be praised. hymns, the songs of faith uh, go through my mind to get me going in the right direction. Keep a pattern for yourself and, and please include having a grateful heart in the middle of it. Count blessings and know that you're loved by the Lord and that's the biggest blessing of all. And I hope you have a great day today and God willing, my big old puppy Dot and I will see you here again tomorrow. <laughs>